Today we're gonna to learn how to edit our photos with a dark brown editing style, as well as create our very own custom Lightroom preset for Lightroom mobile and desktop, so you can go and create this brown editing style in one click. So, let's get into it. friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and today we're going to create this really awesome dark brown editing style in Lightroom Mobile together. Now I've already talked about how to create the soft brown editing look in Lightroom in a previous tutorial that you can find via the card in the corner right now, but for this effect we're going to take things in a different direction, go a little bit more moody, as well as I'm going to show you how to create a preset for yourself. Now if you don't want to go through all of the steps of creating this preset, then I'm also including a free download link to the preset that we create today that you you can find within this video a card will pop up somewhere along the way so make sure to stay tuned to reap the rewards of those free preset goodies now in today's tutorial we're going to walk through a few different images the first one will go through a step-by-step -step process i'll share all of the settings that you need to use and then in the other ones we'll use our preset that we're going to create to see how all of our adjustments look on other photos so with all that said let's hop into lightroom mobile and get started so once you have the image that you want to work with in Lightroom Mobile, the first thing you want to adjust is in the lights adjustment panel. So clicking on the little sun icon here, that's going to bring up all of our exposure adjustments. The first thing that we want to do since we're going for a moody look is increase the contrast. We're going to set the contrast slider to plus 40. Now just by tapping on the slider like so, you can increase it by five point increments and then you can get to plus 40 really easily. Going down to the highlights option, we're going to mute down some of those brighter exposures to help us with the moody look that we're going for in this style. So that means with the highlights adjustment, we're gonna decrease it to minus 50. Going to our shadows, we're gonna darken that as well, setting that to minus 35. Going to our whites adjustment, we'll set that to minus 35 as well. And then with our blacks adjustment, we'll set that to minus 25. So it's just a little bit less intense than the other adjustments so far. Now with this, turning that on and off, you can see how we've essentially darkened down our image and it's a good starting point for the moody look that we're trying to set up throughout this entire process. Now to help things along a little bit more, we'll then go and use the curves adjustment that you can find by clicking on the curves button in the top corner of your screen. Now, rather than adding your typical contrast, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. We're gonna first click on the shadows area, add an anchor point and drag down just slightly. Then we're gonna go on the highlights and drag that down a little bit as well. Then we're gonna go to the mid-tones and we're gonna drag that up like so. So we have brighter mid-tones and then darker highlights and shadows. You might need to do a little bit of refining here. I'm gonna darken down the shadows a little bit more and also darken down the highlights a touch as well. So now we have sort of this bump in the middle of our tone curve to make those mid-tones pop while everything else is muted down. This just helps to give a more interesting contrast look without making things look too bright and take away from the moody style that we're going for. Everything here is looking good, so I'll click on done. And now we can go and start with our color adjustments. Clicking on our color option here, we're gonna set our vibrance to minus 10. Next, we're gonna to go to our color mix option, and this is where the bulk of our adjustments are gonna be made for creating this style. Starting in the reds option, I'm just gonna set the hue to plus five. That just moves the reds to a slightly more orange hue, and the orange and reds together are what create the brown look that we're trying to create. Going to the oranges, we're gonna set the hue to minus five. We'll set the saturation to plus 15, and then we'll set the luminance to minus 20. Going to the yellows, we're gonna do a similar process. With the hue, we'll set that to minus 40, so we're gonna be favoring a much more orange hue in the yellows. As for the saturation, we're gonna set that to plus 50. And then as for the luminance, we're gonna decrease that one and set it to minus 40. Going to our greens adjustment, we'll just set the hue to minus five going to the cyans, we're going to leave the hue as is because it's not gonna help us with improving the brown look that we're trying to create because this is more in the blues, but we're gonna do some desaturation and luminance adjustments. So desaturating that to minus 70. And then for the luminance, we'll set that to minus 60. Then we'll go to the blues and do a similar thing, decreasing the saturation to minus 70 and then setting the luminance to minus 60. 
Now in this case, looking at her jeans, which is where the majority of this blue is taking place, I want this to favor a more purple hue, so I'm going to change the hue adjustment to plus 25. Now with all of those colors edited, we have completed our color mix adjustment. So clicking on done, we'll now go to our color grading tool. We're going to add some oranges, yellows, and slight reds to our image with these color wheels. So starting in the shadows, we're going to set a desaturated orange. So looking for that orange hue here, that looks about the right area for me, but it does look a little bit too saturated. So I'll click and hold on that icon and then I can just drag it inwards and only adjust the saturation till it's somewhere around 20. So as you can see, the hue and the saturation are set to 21 and 24. This is an approximate amount, so just try to get as close as you can. With that said, if you download the preset that is included in this video, a card will show up very soon here, then all of these adjustments will be preset for you and you don't have to do any finagling with this tool. Next, going to our mid-tones, we're gonna add a very light red color. Going for a very desaturated look, nice red color, then keeping it nice near the center. So it's super slight, the adjustments that we're adding here. Once again, you can click and hold on the color picker so you only adjust the saturation. So that looks really nice to me, just a very, very slight amount there. Next, I'm gonna go to my highlights and I'm gonna add more of a saturated yellow. So favoring a more yellowy orange hue here. That looks pretty good to me in that range. Now there's one last thing that we can do within the color grading adjustment and that's the luminance sliders. Underneath our highlights adjustment, I'll set that luminance value to plus 15. Going to our mid-tones, I'm gonna to do a similar thing, increasing that to plus 15 as well. And that's just gonna brighten up that color range for me a little bit more. So then those brown tones don't look too dark and flat. So with all of those adjustments made, this is looking pretty good. We can click on the done option right here. Now there's just a couple more things that we have to do before this effect is complete. And then we can go and create our free preset that we'll be talking about very soon here. The final things that we'll do is go to our effects option. We'll just decrease the vignette option to minus 10. It's gonna darken around the edges of our photo to help improve that moody look. And then we'll go to the details panel and then we'll just set the sharpening to plus 12. Now all of our adjustments are complete. So let's look at the before and after. Looking at our before, we had a bright image that didn't really favor any specific tones. It kind of had a true to real life look. But then now after our adjustments, we've darkened everything down. We've added those warm, rich brown tones that we were looking for. And since we have a nice amount of contrast, we're able to make the photo have that moody look that we're trying to go for. Now that all of our adjustments are complete, let's go and create our preset. Going down to our preset option right here, we're gonna create a new preset by clicking on the three dots icon in the corner here and then click create preset. I'll call this to moody brown, press done. And then I wanna create a new user preset group. By default, it'll be set to user presets, but I'm gonna create a new preset group and call this to brown presets. Click done. And that will save a new preset group in your presets panel. Next, we'll make sure that all of these options are checked off like so. And then we can press the check mark in the upper corner of our screen. Now our brown preset has been saved and we can apply it onto some other images. So let's see how it looks. Starting with this image here, I'll press on our presets, go to user presets so we can change our group. Click on the brown presets group that we just created and then tap moody brown. And then with just one click, we're able to add this effect onto this image without having to go through all of the work that we just did previously. So looking at that before and after, it makes a huge difference to really stylize this photo. Let's go through another example. Going once again to our preset panel, selecting Moody Brown. In one click, it really adds some life to this image and it already looks a lot better without having to do any fine tuning to the adjustment. Now let's go through one more example. This time it might have a little bit of a problem here. Once again, clicking on our presets, applying Moody Brown, this time the preset did work, but it does look a little bit too dark. And this can happen if your photo has some darker exposure values from the get go. So to fix this, all we have to do is go to our lights adjustment, and then we can do a few different options. We can either increase the exposure and that's gonna help things out, or you can also increase the shadows 
So that's gonna soften things up a bit and bring a little bit more detail in there. So now just by doing those two things, it really helps to make this preset blend a little bit better for this image that had some darker tones already in it. Now, whether you decided to manually create this preset or download the free preset via the card that popped up previously, you're now left with an awesome one-click method for those dark and moody tones in Lightroom Mobile or Lightroom Desktop. Now, if you love this editing style and you want another option for brown tones, then make sure to check out my previous tutorial where I share how to edit soft brown tones, where we have a softer, more airy feel to our brown editing style. Now, if you enjoyed today's tutorial and you're gonna start using this preset in all of your photos, then make sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to share it with a friend who might be interested in this editing effect as well. If you're new around here and you haven't already, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with more weekly tutorials just like today's so you can continue to learn how to edit your photos and create awesome editing styles in Lightroom and Photoshop. All right, guys, so that is all I have for you for now. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then. Thank you.